Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So in the last episode, I, I demonstrated how you can use your uh, LWC component with flows, uh, which is pretty simple. So today what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how you can use your LWC component on an experienced cloud site, right? It's pretty simple to do. So the first thing first, uh, you need to, what do you have to do? Uh, let's say I wanted to display this component, create contact, so a user will be able to create a contact, which is um, not really good practice, but just for a demo, I uh, will do the job. So you have to change the target, right? So if you come to this meta.xml, right, there is something called target. So I wanted to target on community page. So what I did, like in community underscore underscore page. So and if you hover over the mouse, enables the component to be used on Lightning community page, right? So all you have to do this, that's, you know, you do this and deploy your component and then let's go to the experience cloud site. <clears throat> so I'll open one of the site, go to the builder. Okay, so to reach here, you just go to the setup and type all site, right? Under all sites, you know, if you don't have a site, you need to build it. I've covered the experience uh, uh, cloud in a different episode where I made a series on experience cloud. So if you're interested, you can check that out. I'll put the link in the uh, at the i button so you can check it out, right? Okay, so I'll go to experience builder, right? So this is my builder page. So I'll go here, the component, and I'll scroll down. So I'll find my component. If you don't use that uh, setting here, you can drag and drop here for now. I'll do this here. Um, if you don't enable this target setting, you will not be able to see your component under LWC, right? Like, like for instance, I have different components, right? I have edit contact, right? Flow external, uh, but as you can see that, you can't see any of this option here, right? That's because I haven't specified the target uh, for experience cloud. Okay, so I'll drag and drop the component here, and what I'll do, I'll just preview it, <clears throat> excuse me. And there you go, your component is on the screen. Let's say, you know, Pete McDonald, right? Okay, so that's done. So your connect is created. It's pretty simple, right? So I'll just go to the contact. Um, Contact, <clears throat> excuse me, must be there somewhere. There you go, Pete McDonald. So yeah, it, that's, I mean, you can use this in the experience cloud, you can use this using flows, you can use your LWC on a record page, right? So uh, I wanted to cover this for the sake of completeness and someone else requested this as well. So yeah, I mean, you can use Experience uh, Cloud and LWC component together. So that being said, that's all I wanted to cover in this tiny episode. Hope you guys have an amazing Wednesday. Adios.